Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can play retro games online in RetroArch using the Netplay functionality. So this video will be broken down into two parts. In the first half of the video, I'll show you how you can host a game online for your friends to join. And in the second half, I'll show you how you can join a hosted game. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your version of RetroArch and the cores you have installed are fully up to date. So you want to go to Online Updater and you want to go to Update Installed Cores and just hit enter on that. And then uh, Update Core Info Files, go down, go to Update Assets. Some of these can take a little while depending on your internet connection. And then go to Update Databases and we'll just wait for that to finish updating. Great, so once that's done, just go back to the home screen. And I recommend that everybody that's jumping on the hosted game also has uh, the latest version of RetroArch and the latest version of the core installed, just to make sure that everybody's running the same version of the software. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that your games are imported and are readily available within a RetroArch playlist. So you want to go to import and you want to go to scan directory and then simply just find the folder wherever your games are located and make sure they're imported. I won't show you how to do that in this video. I do have a beginner's guide to RetroArch that you can uh, watch at your own leisure. So once a game has been imported, in theory, it should appear against the uh, system playlist. So Super Street Fighter 2 is the game I'll be demoing the uh, Netplay with. So now I'm going to show you how you can host a game on Netplay. So you want to go up to Netplay and simply click on host and it goes without saying just make sure your computer is connected to the internet otherwise this won't work so what has worked best for me is i've gone to use relay server and switch that to on and then i just go up to start netplay host and press enter and then it says netplay will start when the content is loaded so netplay is running in the background now and it's just a matter of me going back to the main menu and picking whichever game I want to play. So I'm just going to go to Super Street Fighter 2 and press enter and then run. And there we go. The game's running. So I have another laptop right next to me and I'm just going to join this game over Netplay to see if it works. Oh, there we go. You can see I've joined the game. So if I go to game start and go to versus, you can see here I'm 1P moving the cursor around and then on my other laptop, which is also connected to the Wi-Fi, you can see I'm moving the 2P. Uh, around. Great, and that's how you host a game on Netplay. And now I'm going to show you the reverse and show you how you can join a game that's been hosted by one of your friends. Great, so on my other laptop I've hosted a game and if I want to join that game I simply go to Netplay and then I go down to Refresh Netplay Host List. So if I just press enter on that, it's going to scan all the games that are currently running online. So if I go down here, I am currently running Pico Drive and the game Super Street Fighter 2. And I'm in Great Britain, that's why it says GB, and I'm using the uh, relay functionality I showed you earlier. So I'm guessing this is me. So if I just press enter on that. So if I go to Versus, in theory, you should again see both of our cursors moving around. So there I am, I'm 2P this time. So I'm the second player and the other laptop up should be player one. There we go. And that is how you join a hosted game on Netplay. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do give it a like and please do support the channel by subscribing. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.